We started talking about the feature hourglass uh, a few um, videos ago. We're going to really start to go into depth here because this is uh, understanding and being able to visualize how stories get put together. Um, so let's jump right into it. Now the one thing we're not going to do, uh, for the most part in magazine writing, is use the inverted pyramid. So as I mentioned before, and, and those of you who've been in news writing know this, um, inverted pyramid is using the most important information, putting that first, followed by the next most important, and the next most important, down to the least most important information, which is at the bottom tip. And that means that readers will read only until they're done getting the information they want, and often that is not to the end. And editors can cut that story off at the end if they want to and not really risk that they're going to compromise it for the reader. The goal here is that you get in and you get out of the story as quickly as possible. You're going to give the reader what they need, but they don't really have any real investment in the story. They only have an investment in the facts as, as far as they want the facts to take them. Now we're writing to be read. Magazine articles, feature articles in general, are meant to be read from beginning, from the anecdotal lead, through to the theme paragraph, through the body, to this ending that's some type of emotional or compelling conclusion. And so this is how it works. We have this lead, and the lead is, is an anecdotal story that will take us to the theme. So it, it can't be something you know rather vague and, and out there. It has to be something that focuses us toward the theme. The body then supports the entire theme. It, it, it shows us what the story is about through sources, through anecdotes, through facts, through quotes. And then we get to the conclusion. And all of it is tied together. We can't get into the story without this lead that's going to drive us toward this theme. The theme connects the lead with the body. The body allows these ideas to broaden, but they always stay connected and framed by the theme. And then this strong base that holds up our story is our conclusion. It's really important to keep in mind how self-contained this is. So the same way in a, in a conventional hourglass, no sand can flow outside of the hourglass structure. And no idea can leave the framework that's presented in the theme and that is contained within the body. So you have to keep the body focused where the theme sets us. And if you find that it's starting to drift, we have to correct that. So here's an example uh, uh, from the Ohio State Alumni Magazine. Um, this is a story that I wrote on a major that we had um, related to uh, national security and, and international um, security. So you can certainly read this lead. And I'd like for you to notice how this lead is going to take us to the theme. So in the months after the September 11, 2001 terrorist attacks, thousands of Americans sought to heal themselves and serve their wounded nation by joining the military and intelligence branches that protect the home shores. At Ohio State, one such seed of patriotism grew by 2005 into the security and intelligence major offered through the Department of International Studies. Now this takes us to this theme which tells us what the story is about. Eight years later, America is once again bruised from violence at the Boston Marathon, but it is far from broken and the security and intelligence major is still going strong with expanded offerings to confront the ever-changing ways our national and individual security may be compromised. So this story is about this major, about what it, where it came from, why it's being offered, how it's expanded, and how it deals with our national and individual security. Now, I've given you the whole uh, body of the story here so you can see, uh, hopefully, how the body supports the theme. It's not a, a very long story, and, and you're welcome to pause the slides to read this. And then we come to the conclusion. So this is the last paragraph of the story, and as I've mentioned before, quote is a great conclusion, and that's what I used here. Americans think everyone wants to be American, Mugen said. Tony Mugen was my source in the story. That's part of the myth of the great society. But we are now seeing foreign-born people perpetuate terrorist acts on American soil. That's a new reality that runs counter to deeply held cultural myths. We have to be ready for that. You can see that's a very finite ending to a story. Using this hourglass as a guide is going to really help you structure your story. You will see whether or not you have a theme that can be, that, that can be flushed out in this, the body copy of the story. Do you have enough information in the theme in order to hold up the entire story? Does your story follow the theme? If it 
doesn't follow the theme, if you find that you're you know, drifting a lot, you're going to need to either change the body or change the theme. But remember, by using this structure, you can see how we get into the story, how we get through the story, and how we finish the story.